the world is known for having seven wonders, but the world is a big and expensive place full of hundreds of incredible things. Surely there's something that could be considered the eighth? Well, we think so. And these are the candidates. These are landmarks that deserve to be called the eighth wonder of the world. Number 15. Golden Hands Bridge Bana Hills was founded by French colonists in Vietnam back in 1909, and the French left behind some of their instantly recognizable and beautiful architecture here. Since then, the resort, west of the city of Da Nang, has become one of independent Vietnam's most desirable spots. Bana is almost 5,000 feet above sea level, meaning it's quite a climb up there. Luckily, there is a cable car running from top to bottom. Once here, you'll want to visit the gardens. But until 2018, this meant a pretty steep hike. But then the Golden Hands Bridge opened, connecting the two points in an amazing circular bridge, which has two giant hands, which are constructed to look as though they are made of stone and supporting the bridge. They are in fact made of wire and fiberglass, and are only a feature rather than an actual support, but they add something special to the experience of crossing this incredible bridge. It may only be two years old, but people have already begun to recognize this as one of the 21st century's wonders of the world. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Did you know that the legendary Great Barrier Reef is disappearing? Yeah, really. And why? We're sad to say it's a direct consequence of climate change. The acidity and temperature of Earth's oceans are shifting, and sadly, ecosystems simply can't keep up. This has led to something called coral bleaching, which is causing the reef to slowly but surely fade away. For a long time now, many people have felt the Great Barrier Reef as a candidate for the eighth wonder of the world. We think experts should make it official before the reef is sadly gone forever. But what do you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Kiyo Mizudera Kiyo Mizudera is a temple in the ancient Japanese city of Kyoto, and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The temple was founded back in the year 778, and has long been considered one of the most beautiful Buddhist places of worship in the world. To preserve its purity of form, not a single nail was used in its construction, making this an engineering masterpiece that would be hard to reproduce even today. One of the most famous things about the Kiyo Mizudera Temple is the tradition, which says that if you can survive the 43-foot jump from the stage, your wish will be granted. 234 jumps are on record before the practice was banned in the 19th century, and there was an 85% survival rate. Not too bad if you really want to get a new pair of sneakers. Also in the temple is a shrine to Okuni Nushi, a god of love. Lonely visitors can try to walk between a pair of love stones placed 30 feet apart. If they succeed, they will find love. And if they fail, there's always Tinder. Back in 2007, Kyu Mizudera was a finalist for the list of the new seven wonders of the world, but didn't make the final cut. We think they missed out on this one. Number 13. The Taj Mahal the Taj Mahal is one of the most famous buildings in the world, and immediately recognizable as India's most famous and iconic structure. Back in the 17th century, India was ruled by the mighty Mughal Empire. One of the most famous rulers of this kingdom was Shah Jahan, which simply means King of the World. Back in those days, the Shah was earning 25% of the entire GDP of the world, which is a chunk of money even Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos can't compete with. When his favorite wife, Mumtaz Mal, died, he decided he would build something a little special for her as a mausoleum, and that is the incredible structure known as the Taj Mahal. Situated on the southern bank of the Yamuna River in the city of Arga. 
The most spectacular feature is the marble dome that surmounts the tomb. It contains sumptuous gardens, a mosque, and a guest house. Nowadays, it attracts as many as 8 million visitors a year and is probably the clear favorite to be added to the Seven Wonders list. The Mughal Empire was a pretty spectacular Muslim empire, but all that wealth couldn't help them keeping things going. And not too long after Shah Jahan, things rapidly fell apart, and they were superseded by the British, who also built a lot of stuff in India, but nothing as cool or as romantic as the Taj Mahal. Number 12. The Terracotta Army Back in 1974, some farmers in Lingtong County, near the city of Xi'an, China, were doing some digging when they came across a truly magnificent discovery. In three pits was a huge army, numbering 8,000 individual pieces, all made from terracotta. Each figure was individually modeled, with horses, chariots, and various ranks of the army modeled. They were buried next to the mausoleum of the first Jin Emperor, Jin Shi Huang, who ruled China in the 3rd century BC. They were buried there with the task of protecting the mighty emperor from his enemies in the afterlife, and no doubt showing up there rolling 8,000 deep would have been pretty intimidating. It wasn't only soldiers, however, as they also included acrobats, musicians, muscle men, and other officials to make sure everything ticked along smoothly and entertainment was provided. It took 700,000 people to build it, and the emperor started work on the project when he was aged just 13. Guess he didn't want to be heading into the next world with only a half-finished army. Having been buried for so long, most of the figures are perfectly preserved and are now one of the most popular and famous tourist attractions in the world. Number 11. Easter Island Heads the Moe, also known as the Easter Island Heads, are monoliths carved by the Rapa Nui people on Easter Island, an island in Polynesia. The work was undertaken between 1250 and 1500, and they consist of human statues with oversized heads, which make up three-eighths of the total size of the statue. They represent the faces of important ancestors who had been deified. Around half of the statues are next to the stone quarry they were excavated from, while the remainder sit around the island's perimeter. The 900 statues are considered to be one of the most incredible feats of engineering in the world, especially the difficulties the Rapa Nui had to overcome to transport them. The largest statue, known as Paro, is 33 feet high and weighs 92 tons. They once faced into the island, protecting the living Rapa Nui, but they were all toppled during the 18th and 19th centuries, although no one is exactly sure why. Earthquakes, tribal wars, and conversion to Christianity are all theories which may explain why the Moe were toppled. Peruvians captured many Rapa Nui for slavery, and the rest of the population was bred to extinction after mixing with other peoples too much, and now there are very few Rapa Nui left, although the statues stand proud once more. Number 10. Kremlin the Moscow Kremlin is a fortified complex in the center of the Russian capital Moscow. To the south is the Moskova River, while St. Basil's Cathedral and Red Square lie to the east. Kremlin is Russian for citadel, and this is one of the most elaborate and famous European citadels ever created. The autumn view of uh, Moscow. Once it was home to the Tsar, and later to the General Secretary of the Soviet Union, when the Slavs moved into Russia in the 11th century, they picked out this site on the Moskva River as a good place to start a town. A citadel was built here by the start of the 14th century, but the complex we know today was begun by Grand Prince Ivan III, also known as Ivan the Great, in the 15th century. Since then, the Kremlin has been at the center of Russia's especially tumultuous history and the mighty citadel has survived it all. Occupation by the Poles, war with Napoleon and Hitler, a nuclear standoff with the USA, not to mention one of the most famous revolutions in world history, Napoleon even ordered the citadel to be blown up. But while it was damaged, the little Frenchman could not destroy it, and before long his grand armée was returning to France, decimated by that other great Russian defense, its weather. Number 9. The Palm Islands of Dubai the Palm Islands of Dubai were built to honor the one thing that Dubai holds in higher esteem than anything else, wealth. 
these are some of the most exclusive private residences and hotels in the Middle East, all built into a man-made archipelago off the coast of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. These islands form the shape of a palm tree and can be seen from space. They were financed by Dubai's huge wealth from petroleum exports and are designed to sell a world of luxury to rich tourists all over the world. However, they are not without critics, and many people believe that the building of extremely energy-inefficient, unsustainable luxury hotels, shops, and apartments in a bay which has had its ecosystem destroyed to accommodate them is not super wonderful at all. The waters have turned murky and coral reefs and oyster beds have been buried. But on the other hand, the Sheik of Dubai is happy with it. So even though the UAE is the least ecological friendly nation on Earth, it looks fun from space. Number 8. Hagia Sophia the Hagia Sophia is a religious structure in Istanbul, Turkey. It was built as an Orthodox Christian cathedral in the year 537, as the Byzantine Empire grew to dominate where once the Western Roman Empire had. It remained as a Christian cathedral for more than 900 years until the Byzantines were conquered by the Muslim Turks, who simply converted this amazing piece of Byzantine architecture into a mosque. The nation of Turkey became secular in the 20th century, and by the 1930s, the Hagia Sophia was opened to the world as a secular museum, displaying its long history. However, the current Turkish government turned it back into a mosque once again. This was the world's largest cathedral for 1,000 years, and is famous for its dome, which is considered the greatest masterpiece of Christian Byzantine architecture. Incredibly, the Hagia Sophia took just six years to build, a full 94 years faster than the Notre Dame of Paris. Having completed the cathedral, including the massive Ark, Emperor Justinian reportedly said, Solomon, I have outdone thee, in reference to the fabled biblical ruler, King Solomon. Number 7. Sigiriya Sigiriya is an ancient rock fortress located near the town of Dambulla in Sri Lanka. This huge column of rock is 660 feet high and was selected by King Kashyapa back in the 5th century to build his new capital city on. The palace for the king is situated on top of the rock and colorful frescoes adorn its sides. At the entrance is a gateway shaped like a giant lion. In spite of all this cool stuff, it seems no one else really cared too much about it and the whole thing was abandoned as soon as the king died. It was taken over by Buddhist monks looking for a quiet spot to hang out, and they stayed there until the 14th century. After this, it seems the site was left abandoned until the 1830s, when Major Jonathan Forbes, a British explorer, rediscovered it. Archaeological work began almost right away, but a serious dig and uncovering of this wonderful place did not happen until the 1980s, and it is now considered one of Sri Lanka's most important important tourist attractions. Number 6. Acropolis the Acropolis is a citadel in the ancient city of Athens, located on a rocky outcrop overlooking the center of the ancient world. It contains many important buildings, none more famous than the Parthenon, the temple dedicated to the goddess Athena. This site has been inhabited for at least 6,000 years, but the complex we see today was built by the famous Athenian king Pericles in the 5th century BC. The Parthenon was bombarded during an attack by the Venetians in the 17th century when a cannonball hit the gunpowder that was being stored there by the Turks, who were occupying Greece at the time. In the Renaissance, European people looked back to ancient Greece as a symbol of civilization, rationalism, art, philosophy, and culture as they struggled to free themselves from centuries of decline and religious warfare. And the Parthenon has come to symbolize Western civilizations as we know it today. The ancient Greeks were as fascinated by history and old cultures as we are by ancient Greeks. So since they started this whole idea, they deserve a spot on our list. Number 5. Sydney Opera House the Sydney Opera House is the opera house that has every other opera house architect thinking, damn, why didn't I build one like that? This is one of the most iconic buildings of the entire 20th century. It is not only an opera house, but a multi-venue performing arts center built on Sydney Harbour, Australia. It was formally opened in 1973 and was designed by the Danish architect Jorn Utzon. 
Planning for the building began in the 1940s, and Utsun won a competition for the design in 1957, with construction beginning the following year. But the construction was fraught with difficulties and political problems as changing governments used the project as a scapegoat for various things. Utsun resignated in 1968 after being told he would not be given fees to pay his staff, and his vision was compromised in many aspects which are now considered to have been mistakes. The original budget was $7 million, but it ended up costing over $100 million. In the 1990s, the Australian government asked Utsun to oversee a refurbishment which would implement many of his original designs, and now it is close to what it was originally intended to be, a masterpiece. Number 4. Neuschwanstein Castle the Neuschwanstein Castle is one of the most curious buildings in Europe, and built by one of its most curious figures. The castle sits atop a rock ledge over the Polat Gorge in the Bavarian Alps, and was built by Bavaria's King Ludwig II, also known as Mad King Ludwig. When he came to the throne in 1864, Ludwig was determined to build the perfect romantic fairy tale castle of his dreams, just like he imagined it would have been in a medieval fantasy world. It was built in honor of the great German composer Richard Wagner, and the king paid for the castle out of his own pocket rather than with public funds, which is the normal way royals spend a lot of money. Once completed, the romantic Ludwig was able to live out his fantasy of a life as a king of old. Listening to Wagner and dreaming of knights and princesses, it was considered a mad scheme and the German government attempted to block its construction partway through. Although now it is one of Germany's most important tourist destinations, this amazing castle has paid for itself many times over. Number 3. Angkor Wat Angkor Wat is the world's largest religious structure. It includes temples, reservoirs, and canals, and is basically a giant temple with all the necessary means for permanent inhabitation. Situated in modern Cambodia, this was the spiritual home and capital of the Khmer Empire. Construction began in the 9th century, and it was originally a Hindu temple, although by the 12th century, it had evolved into a Buddhist temple. Buddhists came to believe that the temple was built by the god Indra in one night, and it remained one of the most important Buddhist centers in the world until the fall of the Khmer Empire led to Angkor Wat slowly declining into despair. It was rediscovered in the 1860s by French explorer Henri Muho who was amazed by it, calling it grander than anything left to us by Greece or Rome. Since then, it has become the most important monument in Cambodia. During French rule, it was restored, although many wooden parts were later torn out by the communist ruling party of Cambodia after independence, threatening its existence. Now, however, it is protected by UNESCO and a huge source of tourist revenue for the country. Number 2. Grand Canyon the Grand Canyon is one of the most famous and impressive sights in the world. Carved by the Colorado River in Arizona, this huge canyon measures 277 miles in length, 18 miles wide, and 6,000 feet deep. The canyon is within the Grand Canyon National Park, as well as being a part of several other parks and native reservations. One of the most important figures in the history of the canyon was President Theodore Roosevelt, who loved nature and exploration and worked hard to ensure the canyon was protected protected and preserved for future Americans to enjoy. The deep cut of the river into the Earth's rocky surface has allowed two billion years of geological history to be exposed. Indigenous people have inhabited the area around the canyon for thousands of years, and the Pueblo people consider it a holy site, making pilgrimages to it. The first time a European set eyes on the canyon was in 1540, when Spaniard Garcia Lopez de Cardenas made a record of having observed it. The canyon is also home to some incredible wildlife, including many reptile species and condors. Number 1. Alhambra The Palace of Alhambra is located in Granada, Spain. It was built in the 8th century by Arab Muslims who invaded and conquered Spain at this time. It is considered to be a masterpiece of the Islamic Golden Age, and it is the 13th century rebuild that we see today. It is famous for its serene style and many details, although some of these were lost when the Spanish reconquered the territory of Granada from the Arabs, and then redesigned the Alhambra in a Christian style. The word Alhambra means 
the Red Woman, as the walls have a characteristic red tint. In 1492, it became the place of Ferdinand and Isabella, King and Queen of Spain, at the nation's peak. Spanish decline followed, and Napoleon attempted to destroy it in retaliation against Spanish resistance to his invasion. Once Napoleon was defeated, Romantic-era English travelers rediscovered the site and were left in awe of its beauty. They brought the now-famous English elm trees to its gardens, and soon its fame spread through northern Europe, and restoration work was begun on the site in the mid-19th century, which left us with the site we have today, the jewel in Spain's crown of wonders. Which of these do you think belongs on the list of seven wonders of the world? If you had the money, would you spend it on a mad architectural project? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!